survival out there today. Uh, just to talk about the conditions, and uh, obviously, I, I don't. You've played with Tiger a lot of times at this point, but uh, yep. I don't know how that changes the dynamic, if at all. No, it's uh, it's very difficult conditions to start, and uh, got behind the eight ball early. Neither one of us got off to a good start, and um, just you know, if you put the ball in the wrong spot when they put these hole locations this close to edges, it just becomes almost impossible. So um, I I fought back and unfortunate on 17 to make six, but. I would have taken one over, you know, the way I played throughout the day. Um, but it is what it is. It, and what's different just about cold, you know? I mean, uh, we know wind, but uh Yeah, well, that obviously your body doesn't move as well, and the ball <laughs> feels like you're hitting concrete there. Um, just You just have no feel, and, and it's a place you need a lot of feel uh, around the greens. So um, 50, 55 and blowing 20 is not a lot of fun. <laughs> PGA Tour said you'd never played with Tiger in a PGA Tour event. But, um, so what was it like playing with him in a major like this? Oh, yeah, we may never have played in the actual round. Um, it's great, man. That's the guy you want to be playing with on Saturday at Augusta. Obviously, uh, neither one of us had a great day, um, but I'm just glad he's back out here with us. Hey, you're talking about the physical part of it. I mean, it hurts for you. It hurts for me walking walking down here. What, what about Tiger uh, kind of dragging that leg around? You know more about that than me. Yeah, shoot, I don't know. I didn't I didn't ask him much about his leg. Yeah. Uh, we were we were trying to keep it pretty light out there. Yeah. Um, I'm sure I'm sure his leg is hurting. I'm, I mean, I'm hurting and I'm healthy. So um, <laughs> I hope he can can get back out here and play a couple more events with us here soon. What happened on the bunker out of 17 there? Well, I was up in the face, which the ball never stays in the face of the bunker around here because they have it so uh, so compacted up there. So I thought it was a lot of sand, and I didn't hit ball first. I must have hit the bottom, the concrete, uh, for that ball to come out that fast on that big of an upslope. Kevin, how impressive is what Sky Shep is doing right now around here in these conditions the last couple of days? Man, for, for what, six weeks he's been incredible. So I... I think I, I told him after he beat me in the match play to enjoy and ride it as long as you can because you never know when it's going to come to an end. So um, it looks like he's heeding my advice pretty well. What's most impressive about his game? You know, he's making all the momentum putts right now, and that's what we're all trying to do is those six, eight, ten footers for par. And this is a place that you just kills you all day with them, six or eight of them a day. And it seems like he's continuing to make them. And obviously he hits it long and straight and makes a lot of putts and makes the game look easy. I saw that he's got a five-shot lead. I mean, as long as he keeps his wits about him, I think he'll he'll walk with it. What are you looking for tomorrow to get out of the last day? Well, uh, hopefully we have some good weather. Um, we're not showcasing our area off very good with this weather, boy, yet. Um, <laughs> hopefully we got a, a Chamber of Commerce day and we can all make some birdies and uh, they'll be a little nicer with the whole locations tomorrow. It's going to be great on Tuesday, I guess. Yeah, I hear it. We'll, we'll be in Hilton Head loving life. Yeah, man, lots of them. Yeah, well, you know, this is a good good area of the world for, for dog fans and proud to represent them out there and proud to uh, play a long tiger as a dog. And um, hopefully uh, I can shoot a low one tomorrow to keep everybody excited. All right, boys, you have a good one. Thank you.